Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth session on immunity. In part 1, we have studied classification of immunity and details of innate immunity. The second part was on general aspects of acquired immunity and the third on cell mediated immunity. In this part we shall study humoral immunity mainly the formation of antibodies structure of antibody and types of antibodies before we start let me introduce myself this is pratima from planet physiology okay as we have studied in the first part humoral immunity is conferred by b lymphocytes and hence it is also called as b cell immunity immature b lymphocytes are preprocessed in liver during mid fetal life and later in bone marrow to form immunocompetent b cells during preprocessing they develop about 1 lakh different types of antibodies on their surface which act as b cell receptors to detect foreign antigens b lymphocytes can directly recognize the antigens and do not require antigen presenting cells or mhc proteins for their activation but they do possess class 2 msc proteins and hence act as antigen presenting cells for t lymphocytes let's quickly study this process when b lymphocytes encounter foreign antigens the surface antibodies on b cells immediately form complex with them and this complex undergoes receptor mediated endocytosis it is then broken into smaller fragments that is epitopes which are then attached to msc proteins within the vesicles this complex is then externalized and mhc antigen complex appears on the surface of b cells which is then detected by cd4 cells or helper t cells thus b lymphocytes act as antigen presenting cells for helper t cells helper t cells in turn secretes various cytokines especially interleukin 2 which further activate b lymphocytes this b cell activation via t lymphocytes play crucial role in formation of effective long lasting antibodies by the activated b cells without these signals from t cells b cell activation and their antibody response is very weak and less effective now let us study the activation of b lymphocytes exposure of b cells to the antigens for the first time causes activation of specific b cells to multiply and differentiate to form lymphoblasts lymphoblast in turn gives rise to plasma blast and then the plasma cells plasma cells secrete antibodies at the rate of about 2000 per second these antibodies enter the circulation and destroy the invading organisms some of the activated b cells give rise to memory b cells which also circulate and then get lost in various lymphoid organs memory cells get activated by the same antigen in future and offer quick stronger and long lasting secondary response now let us study details about antibodies antibody is also known as immunoglobulin because they belong to globulin family of plasma proteins and are involved in immune response the word immunoglobulin is abbreviated as ig antibodies belong to gamma globulin family of plasma proteins and hence are also called as gamma globulins antibodies are basically proteins synthesized in response to antigens and cause destruction of that same antigen each antibody consists of a pair of heavy chains and a pair of light chains arranged in a shape of y these chains are connected to each other by disulfide bonds shown in pink color is a pair of heavy chain and green is 
pair of light chain each light chain consists of a variable domain designated as vl and a constant domain designated as cl so v stands for variable and c for constant the suffix l represents light chain variable domain has two segments variable segment and joining segment similarly each heavy chain has a variable domain vh and three or four constant domains labeled as ch1 ch2 and ch3 here the suffix h represents heavy chain variable domain of heavy chain has three segments variable diversity and joining segment so these segments are responsible for offering specificity to the antibody permutations and combinations of these segments allow antibodies to detect variety of antigens enter light chain variable domain and ch1 domain of heavy chain forms antigen binding fragment it is abbreviated as fab so fab stands for antigen binding fragment it has antigen binding site which imparts specificity to the antibody let us understand with simple example variable region acts like a lock which can be accessed by the particular key that is it is activated by only the particular antigen other type of antigens cannot activate this particular antibody but they will activate another antibody which has complementary binding site for them remaining region of antibody which is made up of second and third constant domain of heavy chains that is ch2 and ch3 segment of the heavy chain forms fc region fc stands for crystallizable fragment it is the effector region which attaches to the specific effector cells like macrophages or natural killer cells and activate them to destroy the antigens fc region also imparts other properties to the antibodies for example their diffusibility across the membranes adherence to the various surfaces activation of complement system and so on depending on the type of heavy chains antibodies are classified into five types iga igg igd ige and igm iga consist of alpha heavy chain igg with gamma chain igd with delta ige with epsilon and igm with mu chain there are only two types of light chains lambda and kappa and each antibody contains two identical light chains that means either both kappa chains or both lambda chains let us study the features of each type of antibody first we shall study about igg it is a monomer that is made up of a single immunoglobulin unit two heavy chains and two light chains igg antibodies are mainly secreted during secondary response and hence known as secondary response antibody it is the most prevalent form of antibody and contributes almost 80% of total circulating antibodies igg antibodies can cross capillary walls and hence are effective against pathogens in the extracellular fluid it is the only antibody that can cross the placenta and hence offer passive immunity to the fetus rh blood group antibodies also belong to igg category and hence they can cross placenta to destroy fetal rh positive cells in case of erythroblastosis vitalis next is igm in contrast to igg igm is primary response antibody it means igm antibodies are secreted during first exposure of b cells to the antigens secretory form of igm is pentamer that is made up of five immunoglobulin units due to its higher molecular weight 
it is confined to blood stream that is it cannot cross capillary membrane igm antibodies mainly activate complement system promote phagocytosis and initiate cell lysis they are more effective in cell lysis than igg as they can attach up to 10 antigens at a time igm antibodies which are expressed on b lymphocytes as b cell receptors are monomers but secretory igm are pentamers now coming to iga it is a dimer that is made up of two immunoglobulin units it is also known as secretory antibody as it is found in various secretions like saliva tears and breast milk iga antibodies are also found in mucosal areas such as gastrointestinal tract respiratory tract and urogenital tract where they prevent colonization by the pathogens thus iga antibodies provide localized immunity the next is ige it is also a monomer and usually are bound to the mast cells whenever allergens bind to its variable region it triggers degranulation of mast cells leading to release of histamine and thus it is involved in allergic reactions ige also activates eosinophils and act against parasites the last antibody is igd it is also a monomer and acts as surface receptor on naive b lymphocytes thus it is involved in antigen recognition other details are not much known about igd but it has been also shown to activate basophils and mast cells to produce antimicrobial factors so till now we have seen that b lymphocytes do not require antigen presentation by antigen presenting cells and msc proteins but they themselves act as antigen presenting cells for t lymphocytes on activation they produce different types of antibodies to fight against invading organisms antibodies are made of two heavy chains and two light chains each chain has variable region and a constant region variable region of light and heavy chains form antigen binding sites and a constant region of heavy chains decides properties of antibodies like their attachment and diffusibility there are five classes of antibodies igg is the most prevalent and secondary response antibody it is the only antibody capable of crossing placenta igm is pentamer and its primary response antibody it is confined to circulation iga is secretory antibody and provides local immunity ige is associated with allergic response and also acts against parasites and the last is igd which mainly acts as surface receptor on b lymphocytes and helps in initial recognition of antigen so that's all for this session and see you in the next video to study how antibodies destroy the invading organisms so thank you and keep watching if you enjoy my presentations press the like button and share it with your friends for more such videos subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video